Hey guys, Sean Bean. Today I want to do a quick apology video because I'm very sorry about this. I put out a YouTube community post the other day asking you guys to, hey, if you want me to log into your account and you're stuck in Fighter 3 RT and you have done the very best that you can and you still don't see why you are not improving, then hit me up in the email and I'll choose a random account to, um, to work on and make a video about it to see what is the problem in the lower ranking. I didn't expect the response to be like, this crazy. I thought maybe we're gonna get like what 50 emails but we got like I think more than 500 and a lot of them. Majority of the email were very long in detail with screenshot and people explaining about their account and I feel really bad that I just I just can't reply to every single one of you guys and people really put effort into the email and if I sit down and reply I think I will have no time to do anything else and I'm just I'm just very sorry about that. I know you've sent me many, many emails, but I, I just I just can't. I'm sorry. Really, really am sorry. I have already picked two accounts that I think represent the ranking fairly well. And I have taken a look at them. I have worked on them and I'll be producing a video tomorrow to show you guys what I have done in the account. And hopefully it's going to be helpful. I, I don't know. Maybe I shall pick a better account because it's just, <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm really sorry if you send me a very long email and you're waiting for my answer, my reaction. I, 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 I'm sorry. So at least let me try to give you some tips on how to organize your RTA box. So when you try to build a team for RTA, realistically, you don't have to build more than 10, 15 monster maximum. You might see a lot of monster here, but I don't really use most of them. Like I use like 10 and the rest are built just in case I want to make a funny clip or video. And that's about it. But realistically, I use like 10 unit every single game. So a lot of you guys have problem with using way too many unit and you have to be real with yourself. You're not using all of them. So why do you have runes on them? Why do you have non-max rune on unit that you use? Why are you using unit that don't have max skill? Pick like five to seven unit first, okay? If you don't know anything, if you really want to refresh your box, pick like seven unit and build a team, build a proper team. If you're going for double strip, triple CC, do that. If you're going for double healer, triple bruiser, do that. But pick like five to seven unit, if I run a first turn comp, I'll run Sierra, Hei Gang, Gany, Chang Peng, and another stripper, like all the time. And then pick one or two unit just in case they take your Gany, they take your Hei Gang, what do you want to replace that with? And stick with it. And then build up from that. Let's say you are doing this match, you lost because you wish you had this one particular unit that you could have used in this particular situation. Then you go ahead and build that unit that fit into your team. Don't build a random bunch of unit that doesn't really make sense together. Have a team of five, seven unit, build that and just keep playing and building up on that. Okay. Tip number, tip number two, if you're stuck with runes, you see that you're not improving runes any further. You might want to start farming some artifact because artifact can make a huge difference in terms of damage output as well as accuracy or damage on certain elements. My Karno is on additional damage only because I've built him with max accuracy. There's no more that I can do in terms of rune to make him do any more damage or tank any better. But because of additional damage right here, he's now doing a lot more damage. Instead of doing a thousand damage, he's doing two thousand damage. Or if you're looking to improve the accuracy for your Ganymede, for example, and your runes cannot improve any further than 70 accuracy, but you always miss that fucking Lulu, then you might want to get some extra accuracy and artifact. Or let's say your Fuki or your wind tank like Diana always get one shot by fucking Molong and you cannot do anything about it. You can if you have damage received from water minus XYZ percent. If you're using Molong and you find yourself using your reckless on all the wind unit all the time like Sierra Diana, then you want damage on win. Artifact can make a huge difference and if you think your rune are just not gonna get any better anytime soon and your artifact game is real weak, you might wanna spend a week or two farming some blue artifact to help you out. It might make a big difference. And lastly, watch RTA replay. There'll be people that have similar draft to you. Although most of the RTA replay here are like LD Nat 5 replay, but 
maybe once in a while you catch a guy who will not rely on LDN at 5 look at this guy on the left side then you might want to take a deeper look into what he's playing all the time does he have a similar box to you what does he first pick second pick last pick you can follow that because they are in the much higher ranking than you if you cannot replicate the runes at least you might want to learn the draft because a lot of games start and end in the drafting phase and if you can find somebody that has similar unit to you let's say this guy who's running a molong com you replace the molly with the lulu and just watch what he does and how he survived all the first turn com he's g3 he might be doing something right you never know so at least you have some sort of idea what kind of drafting that they are doing if you can't draft on your own at least try to copy another person who is at a much higher ranking than you then you might do better or not i don't know like smokes for example he's not drafting any ld that five he's doing the usual cc com with two stripper and three control unit if you're having the same exact box which i know a lot of you guys do then you might want to try doing the same thing first picking Kano chung pang instead of first picking siara okeanos like you usually do then you might learn a thing or two i'm not too sure i watch rta reply all the time especially against com that i hate which is ragdoll leo vert user and i trying to see how can people win these com consistently how to beat them and i trying to replicate that i'm not a smart guy i just replicate whatever i see that is good right that's the easiest way to learn honestly so i think you should do that as well if you don't want if you're not gonna big brain and think of your own strat hey just follow all the people no shame in doing that last tip bonus tip but it's not game tip it's just general tip don't feel so bad if you're not getting a higher rank this is not a fair competitive esport this is summoners or wallet competition okay it is not about your skill a lot of the time as well so if you're getting tilted you get frustrated you get negative emotion from doing rta maybe just not do it it is totally fine nobody's gonna laugh at you for not doing this dumb thing every day i do rta 30 wings every day this season i've done a thousand five hundred wings you can watch me suffer tilted and uh you don't have to do it <laughs> Honestly, if I have a choice to not do RTA every day, you bet I can just go and watch some anime instead of doing 30 wings of RTA. I don't need none of that resistant Lulu shit. I think it's totally fine just to like, who give a shit? Like, just play casual. Who cares? Other than that, I'm very sorry I couldn't get to you. I really appreciate the support, the overwhelming response for the community that need help. I'll try my best to make educational RTA content, and I hope that you learn something from it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.